Hi friends, welcome to your day four of your seven day daily movement challenge. And you see me sitting like this because I'm ready to move. Today we will do some low impact cardio moves. So, so far our sessions have been pretty gentle and this will be gentle too, but a little bit more dynamic with some cardio elements. So you will move more than what we did previously. And even though all of these sessions are pretty good, you know, you can do them anytime during the day, but this one is a bit more, not intense, but more dynamic. So maybe don't do it right before bedtime. But that said, cardio is very, very important. It works your heart, it improves your cardiovascular um, endurance, and even if you don't like running, you don't have to do high intensity interval training, but just adding some steps in your day, adding daily walks will make a huge impact on your health or adding some low impact cardio like this. Um, you know, we're not gonna do any strenuous jumps, there will, be, there will be some jumps. But again, I am here to guide you, but you are the expert in your body and listen to your body and um, see what feels good today. All right, we'll get started with a uh, quick dynamic warm up, and to make it easier, we'll do very familiar exercises. Well, um, you already know these from other from day one, actually. So starting on your hands and knees, first let's do some wrist circles to the right and to the left, just to warm up into your wrist. Do some wrist push ups. So bring your <laughs> Uh, bring your glutes, your butt, close to your heels, heels, and now kind of lift your um, your wrists, pushing through your base knuckles. And if you want more intensity, you can bring more weight over your wrists. So really control. Now flip your wrists to stretch them a little more. Again, this can feel intense if you've never done this. So move your weight a little more back pulse in here. All right, without further <laughs> instructions, tabletop, inhale, bring your right leg behind you and your left arm forward and knee to elbow. We're going for 10, nine, we're doing this a bit more fluid, a bit more fast a bit, <laughs> I can't talk today, faster than what we did in our day one because the focus on this session is low impact cardio. So I want you to bring that heart rate up. Once you've done 10, release, other side. On the inhale, we extend, exhale, we bring elbow to knee. And I think last four, three, two, one. Bring everything down, rolling your right knee back. You already know some of these moves, so just combining it all together and doing it more fluidly. And roll your knee forward. Goal is to do about 10 of these, but I'm not always counting, so rely, I rely on you to count too. Extend your right leg next to you, and a little lift. For five, four, three, two, one. Release, other side. Don't forget to breathe. And again, doing these faster because these are familiar moves and we do want to bring that heart rate up. I'm already feeling it. It's also a challenge to do this as I'm talking. Okay, your left leg goes next to you and little lifts for five, four, 
three, two, and one. Back to tabletop. Now child's pose. From here, we're gonna slither through to a supported chaturanga. Ooh. Back to child's pose. So for five, four, three, two, and one. Last one, we hold in Chaturanga. Your knees are down, so you can do this. For five, four, three, two, one. Push back into table, tabletop, but not really tabletop because your knees are back. They're not directly underneath your hips. Stay here in this weird tabletop, extended tabletop. Now walk your hands forward. Whew. Now tuck your toes under and bring, so your knees are together. Bring your feet to the edges of your mat. So you're kind of like in that internal um, rotation of your hip bone, of your hip joints. And tuck your toes under and lift your legs off the floor so you're in this extended plank version. Engage your core, tuck your toes under, push through your hands, and now walk your hands to your feet. Can you see me? And walk your hands back. Inch worms. We are doing this for, I don't know, 10? Uh, the faster you walk, the more cardio effect you will feel, obviously. <sighs> Don't forget to breathe. Okay, I think we are on our last one. Stay here in your plank pose if you need. Rest in child's pose, otherwise keep this blink. And lift your right leg up, bend your knee, bring your knee to right tricep step, your right foot forward, step your left foot forward, and bring your torso up to squat. Pause, place your hands down, step back. That's a one. Step your left foot back. Right foot back, sorry, forward. <laughs> Step your right, left foot forward, right foot forward, left into a squat. <sighs> Change the stepping forward legs, alternate. So, right foot steps and then the left foot steps. And let's do three more. Last one. Yes, you can. Stay in the squat. Slowly bring in your butt down, hands back, seated. From here, bring your hands so that your fingertips are facing the front of your mat and align your hands underneath your shoulders, your hips about hip, your feet about hip width apart. Push down through your feet, lift your hips off the mat, reverse tabletop, lift a little higher. And from here, first find your balance, push up a little more, um, move your left foot closer to the midline and extend your right leg forward. Touch your right heel to the floor 
and lift your right leg up for five, four, three, point your toe, two, and one, lift it higher, lift higher, switching legs. Uh, left leg extends, touch your right heel, sorry, left heel to the floor, lift the left leg up for five, four, three, two, and one, lift it up, lift your hips up, bring it down, now stay here, lift your hips a little higher, and now bring your hips down, biceps, push-ups. So we're gonna lift our hips and gently bend into your elbows. Just a small movement, so hips up, gentle bend, hips down. Hips up, hips down, elbows bend. For 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, release. Whenever you need a break, pause the video and rest in child's pose or rest seated, whatever feels comfortable. Otherwise, join me in downward facing dog. We are almost done. So this is, uh, this is about adding a little playfulness into your practice. So you could add actually these donkey kicks anytime you're doing any yoga flow. So push your hips up and back into downward facing dog. Walk your dog, so bend one knee and then the other knee. And then look forward, get, maybe step your feet a little closer so it's a short down dog. Your knees can be bent if you, if you need to, it's totally fine. Bring your feet together, get on your tippy toes, bend through your elbows and then lightly hop, trying to touch, to kick your heels to your butt and land with your knees bent in the same position. So watch first. This is what we'll do. We'll do this for five. Okay, ready? Doing great. Let's go. Five. Four. Three. If you want to add point in your toes as you're jumping, you can try. Two. I don't know how it looks. It doesn't matter how it looks. And one downward facing dog, relax your neck, relax your shoulders, and slowly place your knees down. Child's pose. Notice how your heart rate is now elevated. Maybe you're out of breath. So slowly bring your awareness to your breaths. And just take a few slow, deep inhales and exhales out of your nose. Feeling your heart rate slowing down as you are slowing down your breath. Inhale to look forward. Gently push through your hands and walk your hands to your knees. Back to seated. Taking a few rounds of breaths together. Getting maybe onto a comfortable seat. Close your eyes. Thank you for playing along with this practice. I hope you enjoyed this dynamic movement and it brought some joy and made it a bit more fun. 
inhale to open your eyes place your left hand on your right knee your right hand back and gentle twist maybe look over your right shoulder and release switch insides gentle twist to the left back to center allow your lips to crawl into your smile smile is what relaxes our facial muscles thank you so much for practicing with me and take time to thank yourself for sticking with this challenge for finishing this day four we have three more days left and you absolutely can do it